Yo, what's up? It's Chris here from sumo.com. In this video, I just wanted to talk about the number one tactic that we're using at Sumo to grow our email list. Um, and so, the way it works is that what I've been doing um, recently for Sumo is I've been looking at what our top traffic posts are, and then I've been adding content upgrades on these posts. But there's a very specific way I've been doing it. Um, so what I'll do is I'll go into Google Analytics, and then I'll go to the behavior section, then I'll click on site content. And then once I'm in site content, um, this is what I'll do. I'll change the date range to be between, um, to be to be over the last 10 years, just so it covers like all our content. And then what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll change the URL um, to, to match what the blog is. So if it's like forward slash blog, I'll, that's what I'll put in the search bar. Or if it's forward slash stories like it is for Sumo, that's what I'll put. So that'll filter it down to all our top blog content. And then I'll go to the part at the top that has the segment section and I'll, I'll change that to um, organic traffic. And the reason I'm doing that is so I can see like which posts are getting the most ongoing consistent traffic. So that I know that when I update one of these blog posts and add a content upgrade to it, that, um, that it's likely to get a lot of uh, email subscribers because there's a lot of ongoing traffic going to it. So uh, after I've done that, I'll have like I'll be able to quickly see like what are the top ten traffic pages um, on the Sumo blog, and then I can go through and I can start refreshing these blog posts and adding content upgrades to them if they don't have them. So I'll give you an example. So for one of these uh, one of these posts in particular, it was on our uh, Instagram marketing tools, and uh, the Instagram marketing tools post was. Uh, needed like needed to be refreshed and so what I did for this refresh was I uh, I updated the intro and I made it uh, I made it like really punchy and so I put it like made it really results focused um, so it said like how we grew our Instagram following to a hundred thousand followers in the, in the last over about nine months and how we got the first uh, 50,000 within about three months um, and it goes to like the different tools that we're using. Um, so in the intro, I just led with the results that we're going to be um, that we got from using these tools. And then I went through and I updated all the individual tools. And so I added uh, different sections to each of the tools. So before it was just like a description, and it had like an image of the tool. But then I added categories. I put like, what's the uh, what's the price of the tool? Who it's helpful for? Um, a link to the actual tool and I also put the use case for the tool and then after I'd done all of that and added those the better formatting for each of the uh, for each of the for each of the tools um, then I went through and I added videos for the tools I didn't add videos for all of them um, just ones where I could find um, good demo videos of each of the tools so that by adding the videos I could increase the time on page um, when people are, are going through the post and also just make it more valuable and then also I got a, uh, a video made um, that was about all seven tools. So it was like a Sumo original video that we included towards the end that went through an overview of all seven tools in one video. Um, and then after the videos, the next thing was the content upgrade. So I added a content upgrade. There was actually already a content upgrade on the post. So in this particular situation, I just made sure that it was listed at the top and the bottom of the post. And what a content upgrade is, is it's pretty much just extra content on top of what people are already reading on the post. So, because this post was about Instagram, Instagram marketing tools, it could have been an upgrade to get more tools, or it could be an upgrade to like get a marketing plan about how you use the tools to actually grow your Instagram account. And so that's the upgrade that we use on the post, because we'd actually use these tools to grow our own account at Sumo. Um, so we included a marketing plan of all the things we did um, to grow with those Instagram marketing tools. And I made sure that um, it was at the top and the bottom of the post, like I said before. So it's like a sandwich, like the content's in the middle, and then there's the content upgrade at the top and the bottom, which is helping to convert those readers into email subscribers. And that's how we've like been growing our email list, um, and how it's, uh, and we do that not just on that one post, but we do that across all of our top posts, and we also do it across pretty much all our blog posts on Sumo. 
Um, it's, it's like the one thing that we always do because it works so well. Um, but if you're just um, starting out with this, I recommend you just do exactly what I said, like going through your Google Analytics and looking at the top traffic posts. Um, and then that's pretty much that's pretty much everything. The only other thing I did on the article was I added a PS at the very end. And the PS linked to an article on Sumo that I know drives a lot of revenue uh, drives a lot of revenue for the company so it's like one of the top revenue generating posts and I just added a PS at the very bottom um, so that w once people finish reading the article they could go read further if they'd like and it would direct them to this particular article that I know um, does generate sales so um, that's everything for this video um, what I'll do is I'll include a link below the video to this Instagram marketing tools post so you can see exactly how I did it and, and um, review like everything I've gone over in the video um, and so yeah, I hope that, that helps you out and um, growing your email list.